The next method which we are going to do is the carry forward method. Okay. So, the first one was the regrouping method, the next one is the carry forward method. So, as the name suggests carry forward which means we have to carry the digit to the next place. Okay. Now, the same question we will be doing 43 plus 17. So, now how we will do in this method? First is splitting it in tens, ones. Okay. 43 can be written as 4 tens and 3 ones and 17 can be written as 1 10 and 7 ones. So, shall we start counting? So, keeping 3 in the mind and 7 in the finger. So, after 3 it is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So, 10 means my 0 is here and the 1 I am going to carry forward. So, this is called as carry forward which means that 0 I will write here and the 1 I will carry forward here and then I will count it with the tens value. So, 1 plus 4 is 5 and 5 plus 1 is 6. So, my answer is 60. Shall we do the next sum which we did? The next sum was 55 plus 16, right? So, similarly, tens, ones, 55 can be written as 5 tens and 5 ones and 16 can be written as 1 ten and 6 ones. So, having 5 in the mind and 6 in the fingers, after 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So, I will write 1 here and 1 I will carry forward to the tens. So, 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. So, my answer is 71. Yes. So, compared to the previous method, this method is more simple to solve.